The very first time I saw Steve was um, September 24th, 2005. Um, he came and picked me up for our first date. I remember walking up to the door and, and she was wearing black pants and I think a purple shirt and uh, I remember thinking of, of how pretty she was. I thought, okay, he dresses good, you know, he had a nice um, black shirt on with pinstripes, jeans, um, his car was impressive and uh, we went out for a drink and the conversation was just perfect. We went on, a, on a, to several places, the Wild Horse in Beverly, we went to Collins Route 1 and um, and, and I met the best friend of my life on that date. The first time that um, I realized that Steve was my soulmate was probably uh, only a month after we had met. But um, we had done so many things before that. Like, I mean, we baked apple pies together. Apple, apple pies. pies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who baked apple pies together like less than a month into your relationship. Um, but the real... Um, big ticket winner was um, in October when he hosted a creature double feature for me and my family and he went out and he bought you know plastic pumpkins and you know filled them all with candy and got the movies and was just so excited to be a family guy and that that was the type of person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. <laughs> the first time I realized uh, that I was in love with Lindsay um, and, and that we made a, an amazing team was uh, she had come to one of my road races. I had, I had run, uh, I believe it was October 1st, of 2005, so uh, it was about a week after our first date. And I realized uh, we were making apple pies together, and I realized just we were an inseparable team and how well we worked together. Um, and, and I realized at that point that uh, we were meant for each other. Our proposal was kind of non-traditional in the fact that we completely made a joint decision to get um, engaged. On September 11th, uh, 2009, that was the uh, date Lindsay and I went to the Jewelers Building in Boston. Um, we, we picked out a ring for her together and we made a decision to spend the rest of our lives together. And that night I actually flew back to uh, Fort Bragg uh, to get ready and, and a couple of days later to fly to Afghanistan. As many of you probably know, she's a basketball referee and she even refed at the Boston Gardens. She can teach me so many things, including basketball, even though I'm a guy. He has the, a way of just making me feel at ease. She has the purest heart of anyone I've ever met. He's everything that I'm not. I'm ecstatic to be married to him. He's um, my partner, my true number one teammate and I can't imagine spending my life with anybody else so when I come through that door you can imagine that I'm going to be one happy girl. <laughs> and I, I love Lindsay more than I can even tell you all right now and um, she's my favorite person in the whole world, my, my best friend, my true love and uh, I love you very much. Me too. <laughs> this person will go to bat for you. She's you know the quintessential team player. And I think she's touched all of our lives and that she's made all of our lives better. So Steve is just my, my other half. He completes who I am. You know, if I can't make a decision, he helps me get there. It's been kind of difficult with the separation, but we've done it. And I think it's just going to make us stronger and give us so much more to look forward to when he's back. I just want everybody to know and for maybe him to know how extremely proud of him I am. It's not easy to be separated from your family and your loved ones and to just be doing what he's doing. I'm a captain in the United States Army and uh, my service has uh, impacted our, both of our lives in, in many different ways, uh, in the positive and then I get to, to serve, my, serve my country. Um, but what a lot of people don't realize is Lindsay serving her country um, all the time. The deployments are tough they're a lot more tough for the families than they are the soldiers. Her and her sister and her mother and, and both of our families have put so much into this, so please really go wild for her. She's earned it and she deserves it. Okay, everybody, so we're right behind that door over there and we're about to make our main entrance. For anyone that's been with me throughout this wedding planning stuff, you know I've gone through a lot. So start putting your hands together and get ready because here we come. <laughs>